Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout Podcast for the week of June 1st. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Paleco. Hello. And Nicole Eredix. Hi there. Today, we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. And my pick for the week is for people who still have, like, home phones and don't just do everything that's on their cell phone. I mean, I'm still doing it. Do you guys have actual phones or do you do everything with your cell phones? We still have a landline that we use sporadically. Mostly for for spam calls, right? Yeah. It's like 90% of the calls we get are ones that we immediately hang up on. But, uh... Our, uh, you know, we've had a cordless phone system and we had it for a long time and it worked fine. And then all of a sudden, one by one, the handsets stopped working. So the one in my, uh, next to my desk here in my little bedroom office would ring just fine. But when you picked it up, nothing happened. So then you have to make a sprint for a different phone and oftentimes miss the call. So I finally got organized and went to Amazon and ordered a new cordless phone system. And I was looking for one that did not have an answering machine because I automatically, I have my, the home phone also forwards to my cell phone and the cell phone records the messages. So I never use the answering machine that's on the, the home phone system. So it was not easy to find one that did not have that feature. Uh, but I finally did. It's a Panasonic system with three handsets and it's we'll have in the show notes we'll have a link to it but it's KXTGD513B go for it <laughs> anyway you know recently uh, received it and set it up it was very easy to set up the the ring is very pleasant it has all sorts of features like blocking and intercom and all sorts of things that I have not actually tried out yet but in terms of actually ringing and when I pick it up there is a person there it works great. So if you are a dinosaur like me and in the market for a cordless phone system for your home, uh, I would recommend that if you if you are looking for one without an answering machine. Because does do people still use like answering machines? Is that it's a thing on every cordless phone system? But I don't know. It seems antiquated. I could also never get it to work, so it didn't matter anyway. We have it on our cordless phones. But that's just how we screen all every single call that comes in. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that could be useful. But uh, as it happens, the we don't have as many handsets as we would like. So I still have the old cordless phone base that had the answering machine in it plugged in in the kitchen, and it works. And along with the other system, so um, I suppose if I wanted to use it, I still could. But uh, I don't. We have. Oh, yeah, I just have a, my cell phone pickup. But anyway, so phones, old-fashioned phones, <laughs> not not quite the plug plug in the wire in the wall and walk around with it old-fashioned, but yeah, stretch older than cell phones. Door. Yeah. <laughs> Remember those days? Mm-hmm. Where you'd sit on I, the floor mm-hmm. and yeah. try and stretch it down the floor. I still have one of those around here somewhere. I got it yeah. because in the early days of podcasting, when you called in to podcast, yeah. cordless phones were not – you weren't supposed to use a cordless phone. So I yeah. bought a wired one just for that purpose. But now, man, we're up with the Skype. We don't need those things. Uh, Nicole, what's your pick for this week? Well, I'm actually going to talk about another household item, one that you wouldn't necessarily associate with – Pleasure and joy and excitement. <laughs> or a There are so many things in that category. <laughs> That's true. Um, so I, for Mother's Day, and I wanted this, but I didn't know what kind I was getting. Okay. So I got a vacuum for Mother's Day. <laughs> All right. One of those amongst things the- that unless you requested it would be a very bad yeah. idea. Amongst other things, other lovely things, but oh my goodness, I did not know how awesome vacuums could be. Like I, we've been using more sort of vacuums on the lower end of the spectrum cost wise and Uh they tend to be a bit bulkier and bigger, you know, those ones. And um, Mm -hmm. we haven't really put, you know, invested in our vacuums over the years. Right. And let me tell you, if you've got a few extra dollars sitting around, get yourself a Shark Apex 
uplight corded lift away vacuum. (laughs) That's a lot of words. And it is amazing. It is so light and all these pieces come off it and you can just do anything with it. And it's so, you know, you can go on either your regular floor or on carpet. You don't need to change anything. You can pull things out and vacuum I don't know, the tops of picture frame, frames if you want to. It is so that versatile is and it's just great and it's so light. And the cord is super long. Like it's not, you know, nice. two feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really long. So I highly recommend it. And it totally picks up so much stuff, way more than our other vacuum did. Neat. And um, yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Oh, and then... The one that we bought, it actually came with a uh, steamer to clean your floors. So it it uses just water and it heats up the water and it just uses steam to, to, you know, pull up the dirt. And it is amazing. That's amazing, too. I enjoy using that. So I'm I'm loving, you know, every couple, you know, every day or so. (laughs) Vacuum. My husband's like, you're vacuuming again? (laughs) Neat. Because like, we also have three animals in our house too, right? Mm-hmm. Plus adults and yeah. whatever, kids and stuff. So it's getting a great workout and it's proving its worth. So that is cool. I never recommend. <laughs> I'm going to look into that because we have an unsatisfactory vacuum situation at the moment. So yeah, I think, and I think you can get some deals on it if you look for coupons. And mm-hmm. um, I'm looking for, I might even get like a, you know, a, coupon code or something let me see nice. I'll have to do that and see if i can get one and pass it on but anyway highly recommend if you are looking for a vacuum interesting <laughs> so, do they sell them on amazon um they might i don't I know a, i just i googled it and it just came up to their actual website huh. but I had um a ton of amazon gift cards that had just been sitting around for a long time because my Son gets oh. them for his birthday and he never uses them. And, that, and then they just collect on my desk. So I use them to buy air purifiers on Amazon for my room and his room because yeah. they both get very, very dusty. But Amazon is kind of like, yeah, maybe you'll get them, maybe not. Uh, you know, they kept saying it, it 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 was coming, you know, today or tomorrow, but it hadn't shipped yet on their website. And then it said it was coming yesterday and it didn't. And then I went on there and it said, well, it might come between now and next week. And if it doesn't come back, we'll give you a refund. I'm like, what? It's there, what? Terry. It's on there. Oh, the good. Exact back so is on there. If I have to get a refund for my air purifiers, I'll use it. Mm-hmm. At that yeah. Totally <laughs> worth it. Roll my gift cards over into the vacuum column. But and it actually gets better reviews than the other well known expensive vacuums. Cool. That we. Nice. Well, Mm. we'll see what happens. Yeah. Perhaps we'll trade in one dust remover for another. (sighs) If if they just can't seem to get it to me. I don't know. We send it out on a truck. We don't know where it is. (laughs) Ah, forget about it. This is apparently the way Amazon shipping works now. And I I mean, I sympathize with them. I know they're overloaded, but really? Right. Catherine, what have you got to uh, report on this? Well, as it happens, I will also report on something I received for Mother's Day. Um, this is a company nice. called... Nice. I don't... I get cards for Mother's Day. <laughs> um, this is a company called Sips By. So it's it's tea. Um, and they have various... You know, they have gift boxes. They have subscriptions. Um, what I got yeah. from my family was a mug. It's actually... It's more like a teacup. And it's like a, a glass... Um, teacup and then a -hmm. couple of different sets of tea theme like themed boxes of tea so there's like the energy Mm -hmm. box and it's all like super caffeinated (laughs) tea but then there's the immune boosting and the mood boosting and the relaxing like sleep sleep one so they're um they're all different uh-huh. themes and then they come with a whole bunch of different flavors and and brands and everything inside that all go with the theme so yeah it's fun, fun. so we've been we've been trying those out and uh you know some of them i made into iced tea and some of them i use for my morning mm. hot tea so yeah 
sips by, I think is how you pronounce it. It's just, you know, Fun. the two words, sips and by. So check that out for all your tea drinking needs. I may do that. And that's it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about virtual graduations, how the pandemic is changing us, and how everything else is changing too. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things that we talk about here. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. Bye.